Drew Crew, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Side YouTube. Welcome to Drew Too. It's currently like 7:30 in the morning. I'm just enjoying, like, you know what I'm saying? A nice warm cup of coffee. For the past week and a half, I've been at Goodwill quite a few times. Earlier this week, while I was donating some stuff, I decided to just like walk in the Goodwill and see what they had in there. And I actually found some fire stuff. So today I'm actually going to go around to a couple thrift stores and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So with that being said, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my morning. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna get ready. Then we're gonna head to the thrift. I'll see you guys in a whip. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Gang. So we have pulled up to the first Goodwill location and you guys know I don't like to be bothered by anybody, nobody. So with that being said, I'm gonna put on my, my little fake headphones, you feel me? Yeah, these are essential though. I ain't gonna lie. When I don't, I told you on another vlog, when I don't wanna be bothered, I just be popping these little hoes in, you feel me? <laughs> It was so bone dead dry in there. Oh my gosh. There wasn't even like one good piece in there. There's a dude over here. He looks pretty, you know what I'm saying? Pretty trendy. And he walked out empty handed too. That was so dead. That was so dead. All right, we're gonna head to Second Street. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know a lot of these Goodwills have like really loud music playing and I can't get copyrighted. So the footage inside the thrift might be short, but just know I'll try to, you know what I'm saying? I'll try to get some good thrift footage for you guys. This is why fall is my favorite season. Just look at all the leaves. Everything is so beautiful outside. I love fall. I literally love fall. Yup, I need these. There's a Goodwill up the street that I'm ahead to. I actually went here the other day and it was pretty good. So let's see if we can find anything right now. Comment down below. Do you guys count like second street, like shopping as thrifting? Cause technically I don't. It's not looking too good y'all. It's looking dry. So we are literally 0 for 2 with Goodwills. We're literally 0 for 2. Both Goodwills that we went to were dry. They were mad dead. And it's so funny because all of a sudden when I take the camera out, it's nothing to be found at Goodwill. As I'm putting my all into this next bet, we are definitely going 1 for 2. I'm gonna take us to a good Goodwill that I know will at least have one or two things I could pick up. This Goodwill never fails me. If this Goodwill fails me, we just gonna pack it up. We gonna take it home. I'm gonna just show you guys the clothes that I picked up earlier this week and the clothes that I picked up today at 2nd Street. But with that being said, fingers crossed, let's go to this last location and let's do what we gotta do. Be good to me, Goodwill. This is our last bet. If this Goodwill don't work out, home, done. Yo, look at this crazy hoodie. It's not looking too good in here either. We are officially three and oh. really like this this is crazy just when i thought oh, all hope was lost i've come up on some vintage ralph and look at this this is awesome thank you thank you you too all right guys so we are back at the crib as you guys can see i have a huge pile of clothing to show you guys this is everything that i have thrifted this week and yeah with that being said i'm not going to take too much of you guys' time let's just get straight into every piece these are in no particular order i'm gonna just get straight to it so first on this list is going to be this vintage russell yellow blank crew neck now this is a really beautiful mustard faded color i absolutely love it like when i saw this just sitting on the rack in goodwill i couldn't believe it like it's just such a beautiful color fit is amazing if y'all see any vintage russell or russell in general at the thrift always pick it up i always pick it up 
I always pick up Russell because the fit is just absolutely perfect. Second item on this list, we actually have these. Again, amazingly colored, beautiful vintage Russell sweatpants. Listen, I found these sweatpants in the same day and in the same thrift store that I found the yellow mustard in. So I felt pretty lucky, I don't know. I tell you guys, these are the best fitting sweatpants I have. Like vintage Russell just always fits me right. Something about the elastic around the ankle and the waist, it just like gives a perfect fit. It gives a perfect look. Next up on the list, we have these dark blue navy Carhartt double knees. Now these are not the vintage pair, hence why I didn't call these vintage because I can tell these are the newer versions. I can also tell that someone cut the bottom and I can tell from the length of these. These fit like dungaree capris, but I absolutely love them. I don't know why, like these come up to my shins. They don't even hit my ankle and I just love them. Like I don't know why, like they look so fly. They look even better when I wear scrunchy socks. So yeah, got these at Second Street earlier this week. I checked out the girl there was like, oh, are those like those like um, Carhartt double knee uh, capris? And I was like, yeah, like she was like, those are so cute. Came there first thing in the morning too. Yeah, with that being said, these are my Carhartt double knee capris. And let's move on to the next item. I did get those Carhartt whip camo cargo pants. As you guys can see, these are pretty cool. I don't know why, I just really like camo. If y'all don't know, I like earth tones, I like browns, I like green, so. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of fumbled though. I really fumbled today. I'm just come clean about it. Those other cargo pants that I tried on the dressing room, like the really fine ones, I didn't buy them. And I heavily, I heavily, heavily, heavily regret it. And you know what made the regrets thing even worse? As soon as I put them down, someone else picked them up. They were gone. I was like, <laughs> The waist was like two sizes too big. There was a rip in the front and I was just like, I don't know if I want these. I don't know if I want to spend like 50 bucks because I have a rip on the front, which I could have slapped the zipper on or I could have sewn shut or something. But then the waist was too big and I was just like, I fumbled. It looked like Japanese brand, but they weren't. Next up from earlier today too, I did end up getting this French Terry Joy Rich cardigan. Now, you guys can't see because the camera won't do it justice. You know, you just gotta have your eyeballs on it. It's a really nice orange. And on top of that, in some areas it is faded. So it's just like really nice. Also the fit is really nice. It's not a long cardigan. It's wide, it's boxy. I can literally throw this on over this already super wide boxy sweater. So yeah, I'm really excited about this pickup. This was actually like the cutest thing I got today. Even the little pins on it are so cute. There's another little pin right there. Next up, we have these The North Face Ski Pants. Now this is another cool pickup from this week. Really not much to say on it. They're red with gray accents. Um, pretty cool ski pants. I see people throwing a lot of fits with ski pants this winter. But yeah, I walked into Goodwill, saw these sitting wide open on the rack and I was like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like my lucky day. Okay, next up on the list, we actually have this long sleeve thermal Hollister shirt. I don't know why y'all like, I love this shirt. I don't know why, but I love this shirt. I don't know if it's vintage Hollister, but it definitely gives a vintage vibe. I don't care if it is or not. But if y'all don't be tapped in with vintage Hollister and Abercrombie and & Fitch, yo, especially Abercrombie & Fitch, their vintage pieces go crazy. And people are actually onto that because some pieces I be trying to scalp on eBay and they be like $200 per cargo. Right, so actually next up is a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch pants. Now, I usually don't buy Abercrombie & Fitch nor Hollister, but I don't know, when I saw these sitting in 2nd Street, I thought these were really dope. And I was like, I don't care, I'm picking these up. These are so cute. If you guys don't know, like I love lounge pants. I love like pajama pants. Like I just love stuff that I could sit around the house and like with a hoodie. Like that's like my preferred like relax attire. Like pajama pants, sweatpants, a hoodie, fuzzy socks, I'm in there. So yeah, when I saw these, I was like, these are perfect to lounge around the house in. These are perfect to wear. They're big, they're baggy, they're roomy, they're comfortable. And actually they're not even lounge pants or pajama pants. Like they're real pants, if you guys can't see. And the material's actually thick. I think this is for like the Vineyard Vine Sperry dudes, but yeah, I don't care. Next up, I did find this at the end of our last thrift stop earlier today. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren jean jacket, and low-key, this is hard. I don't know why, but from the stitching, the colorful stitching on it, it just gives like true religion. Chief Keith Sosa vibes, I don't know why. But I'm rocking with this jacket heavy. I really like the fit of it. It's not too big, it's not too baggy. If you guys don't know, I have a couple denim jackets couple denim jackets that I love. And yeah, this just fits right into my denim jacket collection. The lady who was checking me out, she was like, this is a nice jean jacket. And I was like, I know. And the last item on the list is going to be these diesel women jeans. Now these are pretty slim. There's nothing wide or baggy about these. And they fit really nice. They're low waisted. But what really sold me on these pair of pants was the details. Like, yo, look at the pool tabs. Nice zip, look at that, that's so cool. Also the seaming on it is pretty cool. Gives it just like a tactical, you know, pretty different look. I feel like these would look good with like Ramon bumpers or something. With that being said, Drew Crew, if you enjoyed this vlog, give this video a thumbs up. Turn on post notif bells, subscribe if you're new here. And let me know if you like the thrift vlogs. As you guys know, I'm leaving LA and I'm gonna do a cross country vlog series. And because I'm stopping in a couple states, I might do a couple thrift vlogs. So if you guys wanna see more thrift videos, let me know. 
but don't forget that this is not a fashion page it's not a fashion channel this is just my life my everyday life but in no shape or way or form do i want to make this a fashion page it's just my life so if my day or my life consists of me going to the thrift on tuesday and saturday and i want to pick up and film that day then you know what i'm saying you guys are gonna get a thrift vlog and yeah i'll see you guys next video peace smoking smoking on exotic the shit then got me fried bitch you fucked the bruises